While people might be going crazy for Scott Lang because of the recent Ant-Man movie, my favorite Ant-Man is Eric O'Grady. Yeah, you've most likely never heard of this guy, but I guarantee that you have heard of his creator, Robert Kirkman, the mastermind behind The Walking Dead, and my all-time favorite comic, Invincible. Eric O'Grady was a low-level S.H.I.E.L.D. agent and a total scumbag. When Eric and his best friend Chris were randomly thrown on guard duty, they weren't told if they were supposed to keep people out of the room or inside of it. So when Hank Pym, the first Ant-Man, steps out, Eric knocks him unconscious with his gun, and the two drag him inside. See, Hank was working on a new version of the Ant-Man suit, and Eric peer pressures Chris into trying it on, only for him to shrink down without knowing how to return to normal size. Then, Hydra attacks! When Eric ends up finding Chris's dead body, he steals the Ant-Man suit and hides for the entirety of the battle. In the aftermath, Eric tells Chris's girlfriend that he died, gives her a shoulder to cry on, and they almost bang on top of his grave. Classy. They do end up getting together later though, and Eric even knocks her up. So the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent that was supposed to receive the Ant-Man suit, Mitch Carson, now has to hunt down whoever stole it. Eric gets discovered, he runs away, and becomes a fugitive of S.H.I.E.L.D. while burning Carson's face in the process. Now that he's on the run, Eric gets by via saving women in danger, asking them out, and having them pay for dinner because he conveniently lost his wallet. If they don't have sex with him, Eric will just sneak back into their place and watch them shower. If he needs money, then don't worry, he'll just steal the wallets of the criminals that he takes down. This guy is a total scumbag, and I love it. Despite being one of the worst human beings in the entire world, Eric manages to join the superhero cleanup crew Damage Control under the name Slaying Mantis, and gets into a relationship with his teammate Abigail Dutton, aka Visioneer. This was all fine and dandy until World War Hulk, when he tried to take on the Hulk from the inside, fails, and gets knocked unconscious only to wake up in S.H.I.E.L.D. custody and gets tortured by Carson. That is until Iron Man, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., rescues him and Eric pins everything on Carson. With Tony's blessing, Eric was officially the brand new Ant-Man and a member of the 50 State Initiative. How? How could anybody fall for that lie? Eric was eventually promoted to Norman Osborn's team, the Thunderbolts, where he basically worked as Osborn's monkey boy and constantly calls everyone bro. That gig was great for a while, but if Eric tried to leave, there was no doubt that Norman would literally kill him. In fact, he was only able to leave when the team disbanded and used that opportunity to join Captain America's covert group, the Secret Avengers. At this point, Eric was pretty much only seen in the Secret Avengers book, but was never given a role of much importance. I mean, he had a three-issue miniseries with Hank Pym, but that's really about it. Sadly, this was brought to an end when he sacrificed himself in order to save a child. Apparently, the Secret Avengers thought that he had survived, but that ended up just being a life model decoy. Who's a bad guy? because comics. It's not known if Eric is currently alive since he's not really been seen since. But before we take a vote, I'd like to take a page out of Eric's book and share a message from my corporate sponsor. Companies need to know how people feel, so why not share your opinion and earn some cash money or gift cards for it? Opinion Outpost is totally free and allows you to earn and redeem points for just answering some surveys. Not only that, but every time you finish a survey, you're entered into a $10,000 drawing. Just click the link in the description and you can join the thousands of people who are already making some extra dough. If you want to read Eric's hilarious hijinks for yourself, I'd recommend reading his debut run, The Irredeemable Ant-Man, The Ant-Man and Wasp miniseries, and The Thunderbolts around the time of Dark Reign. But hey, if you'd like to see a video on the superhero cleanup crew, then click on Damage Control. But if you'd like to see a video on Marvel Suicide Squad, then click on The Thunderbolts. You can click this video to learn more about Scott Lang, the hero of the Ant-Man movie, or click on this to check out a video on all three of the Ant-Men.